Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Recording this on Saturday, June 15th. Quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades, starting with volatility. Uh, every little pop in VIX continues to get contracted. Uh, VIX settling in at 12.66. S&P, uh, let's look at the index. SPX hit a new all-time high on Wednesday, closed just below that. NDX, a little bit stronger, closed on its all-time highs on Friday, up over 19,664. Uh, Russell, weak, uh, you know, hit that high on FOMC day and then contracted below uh, Monday and Tuesday's lows. And the Dow, a little bit weaker as well, had a little bit of pop on Wednesday before giving it all back plus some on Thursday and Friday. Gold, pretty choppy this week, uh, still below its all-time highs. Silver, a little choppy to lower as well. Notes and bonds pushing higher with the 10-year yield dropping, settling in at 4.218. Oil, a little bit choppy. Uh, well, let's see, this is Monday, I believe. Yeah, Monday, big day up, and then choppy the rest of the week. Natty gas back and forth, grains pretty choppy, soybeans sideways, corn pretty sideways, wheat pretty sideways. Euro, uh, a little gyrations, but pretty sideways. Same with the pound, a little bit weaker. And then Bitcoin down for the week, settling in at 65,945 on the futures. All right, so let's jump into my trades. Uh, a little bit red for the week on zero DTE. Uh, a little bit green on some of the others. So here is uh, my AM trades. Um, you can see, so that would be Tuesday and Thursday were, were red days. Uh, Monday and Friday were green, but net net minus 4,300 on my AM trades. On my challenge portfolio, so we've got one DTEs. They continue to do well. Uh, four winners on those. On my one-to-ones, my, my re-entries got hit. My one-to-ones, minus 8,000 on eight trades. My three twos, minus 11. So my challenge portfolio is, is going through a pretty hefty drawdown. Uh, no power, oh wait, let's see, did I have any power hour trades? Yeah, no power hour trades in the challenge portfolio, no ricks. Uh, we did have FOMC on Wednesday, so got some FOMC trades. Uh, I misplayed a couple of these. One, well, this was a bot error. Uh, a bot, I, I turned it on, and it was not supposed to fire yet, but for some reason it did, so ended up closing that one for loss. And then on my ratio diagonal, the first two were nice winners. I went in for a third tranche, which I shouldn't have. That wasn't part of the part of the process, but anyway, ended up giving some back on that. And then my FOMC iron condor was a winner. My FOMC long strangle was a loser. So net net a little bit red for FOMC day. Uh, my rut one DTE hedge did well this week. Uh, one for plus 1287, one small loser, a couple small winners. And then my Friday trade, nice winner, plus 3,600 on those. No JSPs. The only power hour I had out, uh, did all week was a uh, was my Wooga on Friday that hit for 1,200. Uh, no other power hours. Um, no PM trades. Price action. I'm doing some testing with TradingView, but the only other one is a uh, a little scratch loser. Quad 40 had a couple winners, uh, plus 1,200, plus 150. Let's see, did I do any discretionary ricks? I don't believe so. Yeah, no, none of those. I uh, did one vertical with the put kicker. I'm not sure I'm going to keep this in my plan. I'm still net positive because I had a big winner a couple weeks ago, but uh, just one trade, minus 1,000 on that. No long strangles. O2 call calendar, this one took a hit. Had just one trade, but it got smoked for about 4,800. Uh, one DTEs outside of my challenge, uh, just two trades here, one winner, one loser, is 
kind of weird. The uh, the one in my challenge portfolio escaped getting stopped, but the one in this account got stopped. So one was a 45% winner. One was a stop out loser for minus 2100. So net net still a little bit green on those. And then the two DTE, I haven't decided if I want to actually trade this yet. I'm still just doing some tiny lot testing. It's been positive. Uh, but just not sure I want to add, it's, you know, still fairly correlated to my, to my morning entries, my AM trades along with my one DTE. So I'll decide if I want to continue doing that here by the end of the month. So that's it for zero DTE stuff on the, uh, dynamic butterflies. I don't think I had any closing trades. Yeah, none there. On my dynamic calendars, green for the week, plus 695, small green. Uh, these, these two big losers, these were the day before CPI and FOMC. And they typically, when you put them on the day before, they typically perform well. But uh, a lot of times they close out before the end of the day. And this time they, they ended up being losers. I left some on. I, In hindsight, I should have just closed the rest on the same day. So these losses would have been a little bit less. But um, I, I, I scaled out of the majority of the position anyway. So they were they were going to be losers. But uh, so those didn't perform. But still net, net green on calendars for the week. And then lastly, option selling. So really just one uh, one closed trade on a VIX uh, trade that booked 550. These others are credits from rolls. Those positions are still open. So uh, no portfolio margin positions. So this is it for me. Hope everybody has a good rest of your weekend. Uh, don't forget, we do have a, I didn't, I didn't open any new double calendars this week. We do have a shortened holiday week. Midweek, Wednesday, markets are closed. But we will be in full force Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.